song, it is okay. Sit your misfortune and none of my own. Yippee ki yi get along, you little doggies. You know that the ferry will be your new home. And now for the adventures of Lightning Jim. That's enough. Let him down again. Oh, leave me, Jim, out of the jerk, Bill. We can't keep on stringing him up all night. I said let him down. Two redskins more than half dead now. Another jerk on that rope and his neck would have broken. Yeah, I reckon you're right, Bill. And with what dead, we'd never learn where he hid that gold. You had enough, Watt? You ready to tell us where you have the gold hidden? What? No, not have any. Don't us to string you up with that rope again around your neck? No, no. We come for that 30000 in gold and we ain't leaving. Tell Jake to bring the squaw in here, Sam. We've strung Watt up seven times already and he still won't talk. I've heard he's pretty fond of her. No, no. <laughs> I get it, Bell. We'll give the squaw a dose of the same medicine we're giving Watt, eh? No, no. Hurt up on her tongue, may loosen his. <laughs> hey, Jake. Bring the squaw in here. Sure, Sam. Oh, no, no, not her straw. Straw, not no, about gold. Ah, so you admit you do have the gold. Where is it, Watt? Here it is, ma'am. String up, men. The Indian's still gonna hold out. What? Stop, stop. What? What? He tell her gold is. Leave squaw alone. All right. Start talking, Watt. Gold buried under big cottonwood tree by well. $30,000. This is a pretty good night's work, Sam. Now I can send to St. Louis for those new dresses I've been wanting. Investigating a threatened uprising of the Creek Nation, Lightning Jim and Whitey discovered that the Indians have a justifiable grievance. Marauding bands of white men have been invading the territory known as No Man's Land to prey upon the accumulated wealth in gold and stock of the various tribes of red men dwelling within its confines. The two marshals have made numerous arrests during their commission, but have not as yet managed to capture a band of desperados known as the Sam's Tar Gang. They're discussing with Yellowfoot, chief of a Creek tribe, the Indians' assertion that a woman is co-leader of the outlaws and that she's protected by evil spirits. What makes you think the woman's protected by evil spirits, Chief Yellowfoot? Uh, white woman, old powwow with evil spirit in Canyon of Lost Soul. But Chief Yellowfoot, uh, you say that the Indians won't go into that canyon. So how do you know that Bell Star talks with evil spirits in uh, there? Cause one time white woman's band steal horse, steal gold, kill squaw of Yellowfoot brave, brave heap mad. Follow white woman and white man in the canyon of lost souls. Hear woman laugh, sing. Hear white man music. Hear evil one laugh too. Brave come back to camp, tell Yellowfoot. All time him laugh, weep, weep, laugh. Same time him tell Yellowfoot. I see. The Indian went mad from fright, eh? Ah, brave, no afraid. Yellowfoot brave, not no fear. Keep big brave. Evil one put sign on brave. Evil one angry. Cause brave go into canyon. Put sign on brave. Make brave laugh, weep, same time. And you say the star gang drove the horses they stole from your tribe last night into this year canyon of lost souls, yeah, huh? That's so. Well, we'll do everything we can to capture this star gang, Yellowfoot. But in the meantime, you've got to keep your braves off the warpath. Uh. Yellowfoot brave, lose many horse. 
Two moons passed, lose much gold. Yellowfoot brave heap mad. Great white father say, this Indian land. Indian must stay on land. <laughs> Indian not stay on land if white man not stop steal Indian gold, Indian horses. Yellowfoot tell brave lawman make things right. But brave not think so. Brave want to go on war path. But Yellowfoot, you got to keep them in hand a little while longer. Lightning and me won't ever be able to catch Bell Storm or gang if you go on the war path and shift them out to the territory. Yeah, uh, White is right, Yellowfoot. You go on the war path, you'll only scare the woman away for a while. Then when you get settled down again, she and her gang will come back and start the raids all over again. Uh, Yellowfoot, not think you catch them, White woman. Uh, white woman, if smart. Well, we've caught up with a lot of smart lawbreakers nowadays, Yellowfoot. And the least you can do is to give us a chance. Uh, Yellowfoot do best him can. He's brave, close to camp for a few days. Yellowfoot not know if he can keep brave longer than a few days. Well, your best is all we ask, Yellowfoot. Whoop, get it under. It's the border. Here, which way are we heading for lightning? Well, I reckon the first move is to take a look at this here Canyon of Lost Soul. Uh, no, you not go to Canyon of Lost Soul. Evil one keep you, put sign on you. No. Evil one not let you come out of canyon. Easy, boy, easy, Sunday. Oh, la, who? Well, I guess evil spirits won't bother white and mean on Yellowfoot. Maybe they just don't like Indians, because they don't seem to bother Bell Starn again. Uh, that cause woman bad. Evil spirit look after bad people. You not bad. Evil spirit get you, Lightning Jim. Get you, get Whitey. Yellowfoot say you not go in canyon of lost soul. Yellow foot, no. Gee, lightning, uh, maybe there's some other way we can catch this Jasper without going into the canyon of the lost source, huh? <laughs> What's the matter, Whitey? You ain't getting an attack of cold feet is you? <laughs> Come on, boy, we ain't got no time to waste talking about ghosts. Here's any evil spirits in Lost Soul Canyon, we'll nab them. Make them lead us to the Star Gang. Let's go, Thunder! <laughs> Meanwhile, in a little valley beyond the Canyon of Lost Souls, Bell's Star is taking over the herd of horses stolen from Chief Yellowfoot's tribe during the night. Sam, hey, wake up, you big lout. Oh, what do you want, Bell? Well, if you'd wake up and take a look at these horses by daylight, you'd know what I want. I'd just like to know, Sam Star, whatever gave you the idea that I should risk my neck to rustle a string on moth-eaten range ponies like these? Well, you sent us ahead to spot out the herd of Yellowfoot's horses, Bell. These were the only ones we could get at. Them Redskins has their best herd passing so close to their camp, I didn't think you'd dare take a chance on them. What do you mean you didn't think I'd dare? In the first place, you're bragging when you refer to the functioning of that rusty fourth-rate middle process of yours as thinking. And in the second and last place, I do all the thinking for the jobs I'm in on, and don't forget it. All right, all right, Bell. And furthermore, get this into your head, Sam Starr. We're going after that prize herd of full of yellow foot before the week's out. But, Bell, I don't... Don't but tell me, you half-witted quarter breed, you... Look at them. Look at them, I tell you. Well, this short-legged, wall-eyed, mangy parcel of cayuses ain't worth a bother of driving across the border. Get that trigger temper of yours things under control, Bell, and listen to reason, won't you? Listen to you? Why should I? Why should I waste time on your illiterate mouthings when I already know everything that goes on in that glass head of yours? Right now, you're worrying about that post office raid you have planned for Friday. Well, I'm not intending to rough Saturday night, so you can go ahead with your plans. I have a little work to do myself during the next few days. Not the plan you were telling me about last night, Bell. I need all the boys for this post office holdup. And you sure can't pull a job like that for yourself. Oh, can't I? Well, if you could read Sam Star, I'd suggest you look up the word finesse. But since you can't read, I'll just tell you it's something I've used with no small degree of success on previous occasions. And I prefer to rely upon it this time. With you, of course, it's different, you Oh, lay off of me, Bell. Just because you have book learning, you ain't got no call to be writing me all the time. You married me, didn't you? We're doing well, ain't we? There's never been a time when I haven't done well, Sam. So don't try to take the credit for my prosperity. Hey, Jake, bring my horses here. Sam, I'm hitting the trail for Fort Howard. Now, don't forget to have the men back here in plenty of time Saturday night. 
Okay, Jake. Stay here, you, and ride on the herd to these noble thoroughbreds that we picked up last night. Be careful none of them strays out through the canyon, too. To lose one of those splendid horses that break my heart. <laughs> You know, like, that, that Belle story, such a nice woman. I just can't figure that out. Her riding over the gang of tough hombres like this store bus. Yeah, she seemed like quite a lady that time we met up with her down in Texas. Yeah, but that's been a long time ago, Whitey. Maybe she's changed a lot since then. But they was right after we saw that she joined up with the blue dog and the ex Spaniard. They was just that only as the same store fender. Yes, it's bad or worse. United States Marshal Cochran was telling me about some of the didos the blue duck cut. Cochran was the one that captured him, you know. You see, that bell was the brain speck or airy of this year's pure then. Hey, look how this hog back we're crossing dips down into that gorge yonder, Whitey. Yellowfoot's description, I'd say we've hit the canyon of lost soul. Oh, that's oh, a boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Sure, this must be it, Lightning. But see, we ain't going to explore that place today no more, are we? That's after sunset already. <laughs> Still worried about Yellowfoot's tale of evil spirits, White? Well, uh, I don't know what it is, but I just don't like the idea of meeting up with any lost souls after dark. <laughs> well, as long as it ain't your own soul, Whitey, you, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Morning it ain't quite dark yet, and we'll have a little time to look around. Let's go, Thunder. Come on, boy. Yeah, now, take it easy, boy. Well, it don't look so bad at the entrance, like him. Easy, boy, oh, no. Oh, Thunder, not so fast now, boy. Now, this is bad going. Careful, here. no. Take it easy. Take it easy. Steady now. Oh, get him over to the side there. Yeah. Steady, boy. Steady now. Take it easy. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, this is a place the Indians call the... Uh, Canyon of Lost Souls, hmm? Canyon of uh, Lost Souls, eh? Well, see, no wonder they are lost. By golly, in the stork, you couldn't find anything. Yeah, the canyon walls slope inwards as they rise and cut off all the light. I tell you, light. Hold yeah. on, buddy. Steady, Thunder. Who, oh, boy? Who? Oh. Hey, what's the trouble, light? Somebody's up ahead, Waddy. Listen to them voices. In your... Hear them... It, it must be around that bend you stay at there. Yeah. If we take it slow, the noise of this creek will keep them from hearing us. It's funny, Lightning. Whoever is ahead of us, they, they must have moved on. The voices are growing fainter all the time. Ooh, ooh, Thunder. Ooh. Yeah. I had to listen for a minute to make sure, though. This blooming creek makes so much racket, and what with the wind sucking through this place, it can't be right certain or nothing, Whitey. Right? You think that's the story, ain't like that? Reckon so. Listen back. Yo, yo, I heard it. I'm thinking that this ain't no place for you, the ordinary human being. I can I think you better get out the hurry. Get out fast, right, sir? Oh, really? Oh, Thunder, fire. Tell your boy, ready. We better dismount, Whitey. We'll keep our hands over the horse's nose. It's a kind of nervous. It might give us away. We gotta be careful going around this bend, Whitey. No telling how many of them, Jasper. What was that? Well, I had to know, like. See, look, there don't seem to be nobody around this bend, neither. See, we better get out to this place, like... Why, it sounded just like music, Whitey. This goes with what Yellowfoot was telling us. we got to find out who's making that sound, Whitey. It sounds... Hey, yeah, who old dog on horse just playing on the edge of the desert. And you just call that sound. That's good music, that's what that is. He was right. Ghost music, you say? Well, that's the only thing I'm sure it ain't. Lightning, you know I never believed in ghosts before. But that 
tell you, Jim. Don't say get on my nerves. Well, I don't exactly like them myself, Whitey, but I'm going to find out what this is all about. I think you have to go again. The moisture. Get along, Whitey. We can't just stand here and talk about ghosts all night. Well, I'd rather talk about them than see them by you and me. Now they sound like they was coming from over yonder. Yo. She like me. What you want? What you stopping for, Whitey? Listen, Lightning. I ain't the fate of the worst bandits I ever saw. But by golly, being a deputy marshal, that don't call for capturing ghosts. Whitey, if them bandits is used Miss Canyon, you're as brave as they are, ain't you? Yo, I, I guess so. But Lightning. Come on, then. Maybe they're responsible for all them queer sounds, just to scare the Indians. Maybe, like Yeah, oh, maybe. Hey, Whitey. Yo, William, uh, what you see? Whitey, you jumped like you were shot. I was only calling your attention to what looks like an entrance to a cave. Look over there. See it? Right over yonder. Hey, oh, that does look like a cave. And the voices is yet in order, too. Yeah. I think they come from that cave. Well, come on, Whitey. Lightning, you mean... We are going inside the that cave. Sure. Let's see what we can find. Oh, but I ain't looking for nothing. Well, I am. Come on. But no light in this sense of listen to me. We're you going know. in that cave, ghost or no ghost. Now, come on. Get moving. Lightning Jim and Whitey discover in the dark interior of that cave. And will they succeed in capturing the clever and lucky Bell Star, leader of the outlaws? The answers to these questions will be found in part two, which follows immediately. <laughs> And now for part two of the adventures of Lightning Jim. The two marshals are completely mystified by the weird voices and sounds in the Canyon of Lost Souls. And Whitey's inclined to believe in the age-old Indian superstition that the place is haunted by evil spirits. But Lightning Jim is determined to solve the mystery. And he forces Whitey to accompany him inside the cave they discover in the canyon wall. Compared to this cave, Whitey, that their canyon was as light as high noon on a calm sea. We ain't heard the music, you know, them Jasper's talking for quite a spell now. Did you get that tow ball out of your saddlebag like I told you? No, I guess I Well, I reckon they heard us. Might as well light the tow ball and have a look around. No, I like it up if you see it tonight. Yeah. But I used to soon not see what's here. Uh, there she is. Huh? Well, Ain't nobody but us in this cave, Whitey. There's the source of the creek, that spring coming out of the rock over there. Hey, the music's coming from up above us. Quick, Whitey, throw that tow ball up in the air. Yeah, there. I see the vent out lightning. With all that coal oil, eh? I don't see how that could go out. That's the answer. It's the wind, Whitey. The wind sucked in through that narrow opening in the top of the cave. And it's that that's been making the sound like music. Just the wind. Yes, the wind. The, the wind plays music like a pianist. Uh, don't try to fool But it is, Whitey. It's true as sure as I'm a foot high. But I've tell these peculiar rock formations before, and how if the wind's coming from the right direction, it'll sound just like music. You all may be so lightning. Uh, you may be right about the wind, but that still don't explain the voices. 
Keep them close now, and you'll still hear them. I'm seeing it. That's what I think. I hear voices in the water now. Water. That's it, buddy. You feel it. The big jump. The big jump where them voices coming from. <laughs> well, that's a good one on us, all right. A couple of fearless United States Marshals get plumb out of the witch for the wind and a poor little stream of water flowing over the brow. Well, you <laughs> may be right, but just the same, I don't like this place. Come on, let's get through the canyon and be done with it. All right. You get the horses and make a way on through. Careful. Oh. Mighty good to be out of that cave at that. No. Steady, Thunder. Steady, steady, boy. It's all right, old boy. Thunder don't like this canyon no better than you do, Waddy. Come along, old boy. Come on. Of course you don't like it. Thunder's got some sense. Look ahead there, Waddy. Yo, it looks like a campfire, right? Yeah. This must be the end of the canyon, Waddy. Someone's camping just beyond the mouth. See, I don't hear no noise. Suppose they're all asleep. Yeah, reckon they are. I think we better leave our horses here, buddy. Meet up there as quietly as we can. Steady now, Thunder. Steady, oh, boy. boy. Oh, don't you move now. There. Let's go like that. Won't make no difference how many Jaspers is out there, buddy. We've got to drop on them. We'll be shielded by the rocks you can see at the entrance. Oh, it looks like one of them is rolled up in a blanket there. Close to the fire. Yeah, it does. It's the only one I can see so far. There may be more than on the other side of the fire, though. Yeah, we'll keep on the cover till we're sure. Hey, you, wake up. Uh, Don't reach uh, for your gun, stranger. You got your covered. Uh, uh, who are you? What do you want? We'll ask the questions and you answer them. We're United States Marshals. No badges, huh? Yo, no, that's right. Now you know who we are, but mm. we don't know you. I guess you'd find out sooner or later, so I might as well tell you. I'm, uh, I'm Jake Leader. Jake Leader? Yeah. The Sam Star gang, eh? Well, what you doing here and where are your partners? Well, I'm uh, riding herd on some horses here, Marshal. My partners has left. Well, we'll prove that. Call out for Sam Starr as loud as you can. Call out for him? Yeah. yeah. Sam! Hey, Sam Starr! Reckon he's telling the truth, Whitey. When will he be back, Jake? He won't be back. I said, when will he be back, Jake? I tell you, they ain't coming back. I'm to hang out for a day or so and then herd these critters across the border. Jake? How'd you like to be turned over to Chief Yellowfoot's brain? The Chief... The Indians? Oh, you wouldn't turn me over to the Indians, Marshal. Why, why they torture me and scalp me. Well, then talk and talk fast. All right, Marshal, I'll talk. I'll talk. Jack Leader divulges every detail of Bell Star's plan to rustle the Yellowfoot herd on Saturday night. Lightning Tim immediately sends Whitey to Fort Howard to deliver the prisoner and return with a detail of six soldiers to assist in capturing the bandits. Hearing that the stolen horses might stray out through the canyon and warn the returning rustlers that something was amiss, Lightning Jim remains in the valley to guard the herd. Good boy, Whitey. Oh, boy. Hey, you all made a fast trip. Oh, you're Lightning. Hey, and we to tell you heard a loot. Yeah, where's the soldiers you was to bring? They'll be here in a couple of minutes. I rode on ahead to bring you the news, store. What news? Sam store held up the Ufala post office and was shot down by a posse outside the town. Good. Good enough. But what happened to the rest of the gang? They got the V. Huh? But see, that ain't all the news, store. Bell store held up the bank just beyond Fort Tower. What? And she escaped with over $15,000. $15,000? Did it all by herself, too. And say you ought to hear the wife of the bank or the subject. Well, hold on. Here come the soldiers now, lady. <laughs> Hello there, Sergeant. Say, Lightning, I want you to meet Sergeant Brady and short of the detail. <laughs> I'm pleased to meet you, Marshal. Howdy, Sergeant. I want you to get the men scattered in a circle as close to the mouth of the canyon here as they can find cover. Yes, indeed. I don't think our visitors will arrive before dark, but best to be prepared in case there's... See, Lightning, somebody's coming. Yeah, quick, Sergeant, get the men under cover. Yes, sir. You, Allison, get behind that rock. That tree over there will do for Johnson. Lightning, there's coffee. Right. right here on either side of the canyon mouth. As soon as they all pass us, we'll slip inside the canyon and take cover behind them rocks. That way we can cut off their escape. Yeah. All right, now here they come. Hello, just a big spoon of Sam's star. The only difference is you're lucky. 
about you. Oh, no, what are you talking about, Bill? Shut or... up. I haven't time to listen to your feeble-minded chatter. We have to lay plans for tonight. Hmm, that's strange. I don't see Jake around. Hey, Jake! All right, men. Better put up your guns. Hey, Who's that? We got you covered. Guns, right, your husband. Come on, boy. And reach for the sky, all of you. Come on, hands up. Well, it is in the United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple. And that nice little deputy, too. How do you do, gentlemen? It's a long time since I've had the pleasure of seeing you, too. Yo, that's right. And I reckon the pleasure's all ours this time, eh, Ben? Not at all, Whitey. You see, I've been in jail before. But, well, somehow or another, I never, shall we say, stay put. In the meantime, I'll rather enjoy the company of gentlemen for change. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sergeant, bring your men here and tackle these prisoners. All right, boys, now, come on, get going. Put the man down. Easy, boy. Get up, boys. Get him down. Easy down. All right, then. All right, now. Come on, go. Looks like they're heading for a cave like this. Yeah, Whitey. There's a cave of ghosts. Well, now that I know what that cave of ghosts is, I tell you, I, I still don't like it. And so ends another thrilling chapter in the lives of those two famous marshals, Lightning Jim Whipple and Whitey Larson. Mm -hmm.